Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to film a quick little, well, I don't know if it'll be so quick, but just a video all about my hair. I did just recently get it cut and I know I'm looking very 80s with like this whole Farrah Fawcett deal going on, but I did get bangs. My hair is just wet right now, so it looks kind of like I have a mullet, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I style those and um, also just kind of like my hair care routine and all that kind of stuff and my little friend just wants to say hello this is Demi she's my little chameleon and it's very rainy today so we've just been inside watching Gilmore Girls and snuggling oh it's not in focus look at her cute little tail I love her she's about four years old that's about how long I've had her and she was probably she was a couple months old when I bought her but yeah, this is my little friend and I love her very much. Okay, I'm gonna go put her away because I obviously can't do anything with my hair with her in my hands. So if you wanna see how I do my hair and all the kind of products and stuff I use, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so first thing I wanna talk about is just the products that I use in my hair and starting off in the shower. First thing I obviously do is shampoo, and this is one of my favorite shampoos. As you can tell, it's almost squeezed dry. But it's just the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Treatment Shampoo, and um, purple shampoos can just be really expensive, so this is just like a drugstore. It's like dripping water because I just used it in the shower. Um, it's very purple for a drugstore shampoo. I'll try and show you guys. Okay. So there, you can see how freaking purple it is. So it definitely does a good job of toning my hair. So um, I just scrub that throughout my hair for, eh, I don't know, till it's nice and soapy. And I let it sit a little bit longer than I would a normal shampoo just so like it really tones my hair. And then um, I personally, my hair is pretty thick so I can afford to um, use a deep conditioner every time. I uh, get in the shower because I do bleach it so it does get pretty dry and um, since it's thick like it doesn't really weigh my hair down or anything of that nature so but I do avoid putting it like especially in my bangs and like in my roots because that'll just make them look really greasy but the one I use as I previously mentioned in another video in my I think it was my nighttime get ready with me or something like that um it's just like the Wella reconstructing mask um yeah, I don't know. I use a bunch of different ones. This is just the one I'm using right now. And I like it, but I'll probably get a different one next time I go to the store. It's nothing like crazy special, but it smells really good and fresh. So I do like that. And then I get out of the shower. And um, this is like one of my all-time favorite products. It's the Redken Anti-Snap. And um, it's just like a leave-in treatment. And it smells so good. I love it so much. And it's just a nice leave-in conditioner. It makes my hair really easy to brush out and that things of that nature. And I also put in, this is another one of like my absolute favorite products in the entire world, um, the Macadamia Nourishing Oil Treatment. This stuff smells so good and I've literally been using it since I was in like sixth grade and I'm about to be a sophomore in college, so I've been using it a long time, but it just smells like so good. Love it. So that's the only two things I put in my hair um, after my shower. Sometimes I'll put mousse if I'm, if it's kind of like hot outside or um, what do you call it, humid, so that my hair, my curls will last a little bit longer because lately I've been putting my hair in heat rollers a lot and those kind of the curls tend to fall pretty fast with that. So sometimes I'll put some mousse in my hair and I just use a normal like Tresemme one, nothing fancy. I feel like I'm babbling a lot, but I'm just trying to get all this information in quickly so this video doesn't end up crazy long. So, um, yeah, and then when I'm blow drying my hair, I like to let it air dry as much as I possibly can because I just don't like to use a bunch of extra heat on my hair, but when I do, I just use a little um, Chi round brush and then just a normal, I don't even know what brand this is, I think it's just Conair, a little Conair hair dryer, nothing crazy fancy. So that's what I use, and normally I do like to use a nozzle, but whenever I was moving it got lost, so we're not going to be using that today. So yeah, and then um, the straightener I use is just a chi as well. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using, 
and I'll show you guys how I style my bangs. So first thing I do, I'm going to scoot over a little bit because my mirror is right here, is just start suctioning off my hair. I will um, just do about right below my ears and section that off and just twist it away and tie it up with a scrunchie or like a clippy or something. Um, I'm already regretting this outfit choice because I'm going to get really hot. I'm wearing a sweatshirt, so we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I'm just going to start blow drying my hair. Um, if I'm just going to wear my hair straight, I focus a lot more on like curling the ends under with my round brush, but today I'm just going to kind of dry it because I am going to be using my hot rollers, so I'll show you guys how I do that as well. is just go in with that macadamia oil and then we'll kind of help tame the frizz. I'm just going to put a very small amount though because my hair will look greasy if I put too much. crazy. I'm not like a huge fan of how the lady cut them, so I'm just letting them kind of grow out, but yeah, I just always do this. I always have, I grew up my hair and it didn't have any layers or anything. It was like perfectly blunt cut and um, that's what I thought I wanted, kind of like, you know, the share from Clueless kind of vibes deal. And um, yeah, my hair was just super duper flat and it was like not having it and I like to have a lot of volume in my hair especially because I do the hot rollers and things like that so the layers are fine I asked for those and like those turned out fine and then I was like I just want some face framing and like a little bit of like wispy bangage and like what happened was like the scissors I was watching in the mirror and I was like just a little bit like the smallest bit and then just whoop, whacked off like this whole front part of my hair and I just wanted to start crying right then and there. I was like, no, I worked so hard on growing out my bangs. <laughs> and I knew I made a mistake. So I mean, they're not awful. They look a lot better when they're styled though. This looks a little crazy to me, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm back. I've just been letting my wonderful little hot rollers heat up. These are just from Conair. Um, they're okay. I mean, I don't really think you can go wrong with hot rollers. Um, so yeah, I just use these. Um, and they come with their own little set of clips, but I just wanted to throw this in there for all of you who do use hot rollers. Um, it's super, I don't like the little metal clip ones are fine, like the ones where you wrap them and then you just stick the pin in. Those are fine, but my hair is so kind of like, not like it's a problem or anything, but my hair is pretty like silky and like it just slips out of those really easily. Um, so I don't, I like the clips because they hold it a lot better, but the problem with the clips is they give me weird dents because they just... They give me weird little dents all over my head. So I found these from Sally's. I'll try and link them down below. Um, but they're like, they're little combs. And so whenever I put them in my hair, it doesn't put a dent or anything. It just like lets my hair slide through like their little comb. So those are what work best for me and they don't give me any weird dents and things of that nature. So um, yeah. And I'm going to wait for my bangs to do them last because I actually don't use hot rollers for that part of my hair. I go in and curl them with my straightener. So I'm just going to kind of like 
pin those out of the way. I'm gonna take a little section here. section here and brush it upwards this first section I like to kind of make it go forwards like that because I like it to come over and kind of frame my face and flip under if I were to do it backwards it would go more that way and create kind of like a fair flossity kind of deal which is not what I'm going for although she pulls it off, but I don't. So yeah, just doing that. Curling it forwards. Tucking the ends under. Making sure it's pretty tight. And I just take my clippy. Oops, these are falling off. And... And then the ones behind that, I make them all go backwards and then these right here to make them go curling downwards if that makes sense like I don't roll them up I hope that makes sense but yeah that's what I do so I'm just gonna fast forward through this part of the video So I'm back about 15 minutes later and these have finally cooled down so I'm just going to take them out. taken out. Very, what do you call it? I don't know, 80s, 90s-ish. That's what I'm going for though. That's like my favorite thing. Like if you ever just watch Friends, any of the hairstyles the girls have and that shows usually the kind of look I'm going for. So um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and start curling my bangs. As you can see, they're just like super stick straight and that's just how my hair is i wish it was different but oh well so first just kind of go up give it a little bit of volume and just straighten them a little bit at the roots to make sure all of the little baby hairs are kind of pinned down um but i don't like to curl it at the roots because then they just get way too like voluminous, voluptuous, I don't know the word, but they just get way too like and it just looks like I have a mullet or something. It's not cute. So I only curl them at the ends and it's very, very minimal, like very minimal. Just give them a nice little curl if you know what I mean. like so and um contrary to like what you think you would do normally when people have bangs you like you think to 
put them like if you want them to go away from your face a lot of people think that you should put it curling that way but if you do that you're literally just gonna get fair faucet hair so when you do it like this it makes your hair fall forward and then go back which is what I personally like. Now we're just gonna go to this side. I just kind of take it section by section and make sure that I flatten all those little flyaways because man, those things annoy the heck out of me. But I don't want to put hairspray in it because then my bangs just look all dirty. So. little dorky right now but that's basically what I do for my hair and I'm just gonna kind of flip it and um, there we have it that is my everyday kind of very 90s big curly hair but yeah, as you can see, it kind of doesn't really come together until everything's done. So yeah, this is how I do it. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, go ahead and um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.